Hello, and uh, welcome to Drawing with Robert. Today, I'm going to draw an elephant. I got my piece of paper, and I got my lucky marker. Now, what is the most important part of an elephant? It's feet. Crap, I messed up. I messed up. Uh, where'd I put the paper? Oh, of course, I, I put it behind the... Yeah, here it is. I feel like a jackass. I can't believe I already messed up. Stop tangling up. God damn it. I gotta get another piece of paper. We're drawing an elephant. There we go. Beautiful. That's what I wanted to do. Yeah. Elephants need tails. And spikes. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now, I'm not that good at drawing wings, but you can't really have an elephant without wings, can you? Elephants have four wings. Four wings. Two on each side. One wing. Two wing. And they're very feathery. Very feathery wings. Two wings and a spiky tail. Now, elephants only come out at night. They are nocturnal. That means, nocturnal means that if they go out during the daylight, they melt. So I'm gonna put a moon here. Now, I'm not a drawing expert, which I am, but this is a beautiful elephant so far. I hate drawing elephant heads. I hate it. Elephants have really long trunks. And then big mouths with a lot of teeth. A lot of sharp teeth. A lot of sharp teeth. Now, since elephants like to sit at computers, they have bad eyes. So, usually you'll see them wearing eyeglasses like this. So, this is my this is my beautiful elephant flying through the sky. I'm gonna put uh, an iPod in his hand right here. He's, he's listening to some uh, some Devo. You know, uh, when you draw, you know, you just gotta have a lot of imagination. Like, you know, if you're gonna draw an elephant, you know, you know that's fine and all, but I like to add, you know, cool stuff like iPods. And then I'm going to give it an ankle bracelet right here. See, I just like to go crazy. And uh, I think when you're drawing, you should do that. Because if you don't, uh, you're a Nazi. So this is my uh, elephant flying. I'm going to add these lines here so that way people know that he's going really, really fast. Remember, when you're drawing and you want people to know that something is going really, really fast, Put lines behind it. The more lines you put behind it, the faster it's going. Hell, even the moon is going fast. And he's, uh, I'm gonna put some music notes right here. Actually, they look more like question marks, which I think I'm gonna go ahead and turn them into question marks because he's probably wondering what the hell's going on. As am I.
Now it's time for my favorite part, and that is coloring. I want my elephant to be blue. Alright. This one's too skinny. So I'm going to use my lucky marker to color it blue. Let the coloring begin. I need green. My lucky marker. This isn't green, but it doesn't matter. There we go. There we go. I uh, I think we're just about done with this elephant. Ah, there you are. Yeah. Look at that. There's my beautiful elephant. It's uh, finished. It's finished. It's kind of ripped here. But I did that uh, for art. Because it makes it more artistic. And don't forget to always Autograph your picture. And that's how you do it. That's how you draw an elephant.